Hello, trading is closed on December 15th, 2014. I'm Jeff Tennant. I had a few calls over the weekend. One was I was looking for a strong gap up. That happened, and this is a 16 point move. I also had targets just over 2028, and we came nowhere close to those. These aren't really failures because the 202841 was an optional target. It hasn't printed by now, we're just going to forget about it. And the other target, 202854, was an ultimate target. The rules say ultimately it will print. Usually you don't have to wait long. They don't say when. There's a new ultimate target from today's trade of 2012.50. Note how the ultimate target from over one month ago provided a good resistance level. The software says to forget about this 2028.41 target since it hasn't printed, but we still have a target of 2028.54, a new one of 2012.50, and we came close to an old target of 1979.05. During the day, the software said ultimately lower and higher prices would print. We have the lower, we're looking for the higher. It said here this was a false move. There's the F, and that prices would hit this price after this time. And there'd be resistance there, and that worked. Well, Let's see what else we have around this 1979.05 price. First of all, let's remember we have a potential even at a top. If that's what happens, we should go down in practically a straight line to 1820.66. Of course, we'll only know retrospectively if that's what happens. We also have the middle tine of an Andrews pitchfork. The price has been going up. We did have a target of 1977, but we've been going up. And now if we drop there in a straight line, it'll be just under 1979, which is essentially the same price we have as the MJT target. It's also pretty close to the 1980.60 price, which would be a 38.2% retracement of the rally from two months ago. It's interesting that on the 30-minute chart, the green 13 gives us a combo, a buy signal. And we have 12 bars of a sequential buy, so any drop tomorrow will give us bar 13 and the sequential buy signal. So for tomorrow, we have higher ultimate targets and we are close to a support level. If we break through support in the upper 1970s, it could lead to a very ugly day. We don't have to test that level at all, but if we do, it's a good place to look for a rebound. We don't have to hit these higher prices tomorrow over 2012 and 2028, but usually we don't have to wait too long. So we have a slightly lower support level and a bit higher targets, and that's what we look for tomorrow.